windy today. The storm's about to come. Got that one set up. Now what I'm gonna do is put this, this bobber on here. I like these bobbers because they are, they already got a slit in there. So you can put your hook on, but you can just throw the, throw the line through there like that. Put the line through, put that stopper in there. Stopper in here. As you can see, it's ready to go. All right, I might cast it out like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with these gulp earthworms. This is my first time ever fishing with these gulp earthworms. And I'm gonna see, this is what they look like. I'm gonna show you guys. That's what they look like right there. So I guess they favor a worm. They kind of tough too. So. So like that, that kind of looks like a worm, honestly. And I'm going to just toss this out and see what happens. You guys wish me luck. I hope I catch some fish today. I would love to make a video for y'all. I'm, I'm about to put some weight on here. I kind of figured that. I might get it over there though. Well, let's see. I got a bite that quick. Did you get a bite that quick? I might have figured something out here. Oh, oh, it's not been getting over there. go deeper There we go, first one today, you guys. First one of the day. If you see, it's a little bit of one, but I didn't let it just, I didn't let it, um, how you wanna say it, take that worm off. You know how the bobber be just bouncing and bouncing? I set the hook. This is a long ear, long ear uh, sunfish. And that's a baby, my goodness. I gotta do better than that. Guys, again, this is the Barclays Gup earthworms version 1.1 .1 ounce. So it's kind of like a red worm or earthworm. And I have got two bites that quick. I just got here. Got him. Got that joke. Yeah, that's a good one. This is a little bit better. A little bit better, you guys. And pretty as all outdoors. My God, these fish are pretty. They just come in these long ear, whatever you call them. They just come in different colors, man. And look at, look at all that blue that's showing. Orange, blue. This is probably male. Well, ain't peeing. But uh, that's a pretty fish. Y'all let me know, all that blue. And I finally figured out how to tell a long ear. This ear is longer and it goes up instead of going back like a bluegill. That's a pretty fish. Very pretty. They can get, I'm actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of weight on here. Give me a better opportunity to get my fish.
there we go now that gonna give me a better opportunity to get in the spot that I want to get in and to land my fish there we go now we now we getting over there and it shouldn't take long They might have got that off. Let's see. Oh, they can, they can. Oh, I might be too deep. I got some grass here. Let me come down a little bit. There we go. All right, let's see what happened. YouTube. See if we can get us some fish for y'all. There we go. Set my drag. This is a baby. You guys gonna be mad at me with this content. <laughs> Little baby, baby, uh, red ear. I mean, baby, uh, green, uh, long ear. What a big fish at. Come on, guys. I know we got some rain, but I know y'all in here. So where y'all at? Let's try over this way. If you can find that bed, you two, oof, you'll be in heaven, I promise you. Just gotta find the bed, though. You gotta work your way, you work your way around here. Got him. This one right here. He's a little puller. He's a little puller. Look at that. Another pretty one. Little thick joker. Green fish. That's all I'm catching. It's one spot. A bed of long, long, uh, long ears. That joker thick. That's a pretty fish. I'm looking for those male bluegills. That's a pretty one. That's what I'm looking for. That's, that'd be them big boys. I don't know if they got them copper, what are they called? Copper nose or copper head or whatever. I don't know if they got them in here. All right, I don't want that to get knocked over. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try. I do know it'd be fish down here sometime. Big fish, big, I mean, big, uh, big gill over this way, over there. I think down in this area, I, got, I just gotta find them. But I do know they'd be over there. go got him got him coach got him coach so this is a male gill this is what i'm looking for you guys that's what i'm looking for they'll, they'll get bigger but this is what i'm looking for male gills yeah they get bigger than what i what I, the other ones so okay this gup uh metal is working let's see it took a while for that fish to bite that. When you're in the bed of them and they active, it shoots under instantly. It don't take long. You're in a big bed of them. There we go. This is a good fish right here, you guys. He stood that cork up. He stood that cork up. Cause it's a catfish. And it looks like a little channel cat. 
Oh, now ain't that pretty, you guys. Oh, my God. Look at that little pretty. China cats like that remind me of females. Pretty as can be. Pretty as can be. That's what I used to say when I was a kid, like a little girl. All right, so let me see. I didn't bring no pliers or anything. I don't know why I be, oh, that little joke's gonna get me. You trying to get me. Calm down. I'm gonna show you guys something here. This is a little trick I be doing. With the stick in the mouth. Calm them down. Cause this little joker will put me on my butt. Then put my hand up on him like that. Where he can't move. Now, I can work this this uh this uh jig on his mouth. Y'all know catfish got a hard mouth, so just gotta do what you gotta do. There you go, came out with no problem. And I can just throw him back in the water. And he's gone. All right, okay. All right, you two, what do y'all think? They're not massive, but I got content. And it's been storming lately. And it's hot as heck, I'm not gonna lie, it's humid. But it feel good up under here in the shade though. There we go. All right, let's see, should get a bite. There we go, ooh, he hit that soon as he hit the water. That was something small too. I set that hook on that one. Look how he's swimming. It's a good one. This is a decent one. Not the not the monster monster, but he better. He's the best one today. Look at that pretty one. That's the best one of the day. A take home. YouTube. These are the ones I'm looking for. Little old take home, that's a pretty fish. Boy, y'all been lucky. I've been throwing a lot of fish back lately. I've been throwing back a lot of fish. One reason why I throw them back YouTube because I know I can come out, especially the bluegill. I know I can come out and catch those anytime. The crappies are going to be the ones that's going to be hectic this, this summer, I'm trying to catch them crappies. So the bluegills is pretty much catch as you can, as many as you can. Hold on. That's okay. I had hit as soon as it hit the water. Yep, you see that? They over there, look at that pole bent, you guys. Look at that pole bent, come on out of there. Come on out of there. The take homes. That's another pretty one. That's a take home right there. Big little joker. Yeah, but it's a take home. All day. All day. He ain't monster. He ain't a monster, but you catch a couple of them, you catch enough, you make a monster. Fat. YouTube, look at all that fatness, YouTube. Just thick as can be up under here. So they're not massive, but they got a lot of meat on it. They're not massive, but they got a lot of meat. All right, YouTube, I'm about to go to Costco. I'm fishing in the area and see if these uh, gut worms really work. So guys, I'll be back in a little bit, drink me some water, cool off of my truck. We're gonna see y'all over there at Costco pulling in big gills. All right, YouTube, I done made it to the spot here. Man, it feels so good in this truck, I don't even wanna get out. Look at this weather. 95, and I'm sure with this humidity, it probably feel like it's 110, so. I'm gonna go down though because we got a little shade over now. If you can see the shade on came in, this little area for some reason starts shading faster before it and it starts going that way. So we got a little wind, but I'm gonna go down and see if the gup earthworms 
a work over here, which I think they will. So I'm gonna see you guys down in a minute. guys so if you come down to Costco you can see the grass is cut this is me you get down there it's a little bit but it's not not too long you can see everything you, you can see everything you need to see got that joker it must ain't got a lot of flavor to it but I got them that's a little bit of one too a little bitty one, uh, whatever it's called. It looks green, fit, uh, long ear. It's going every way but right there. Over here and over there, but won't go right here. Heck, heck going on out here. Uh, got him. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. He's swimming toward me here. Is he gonna grow up? Uh, nah, well, he grew up. What y'all think, did he grow up? That joker fat. He fat. The two amigos look me. Two amigos, brother. There we go, you see that? That's a good one. This is one of the ones I've been waiting on. Probably a male too. Yeah. Yep. The males are just a little bit bigger, you guys. But that's what I've been waiting on right there, a male. That's a pretty one. Right there. They out there. Just gotta give them a bite. I just wanted to show you guys that, that this gup earthworm, well, actually I wanted to show myself, show all of us, if it works. And doggone it, I believe it works. So let's see something here. Let's see if anything is right there. Or, or coming back toward me Got him, got him coach, got him coach. That's a nice one too, you guy. There you go, very nice. Old male. Very nice. Let's get right back out there. All right, you two, I made it to another spot here. So I'm gonna see if I can get me a bass, a crappie, and I even might start fishing. Keep fishing for the bluegills. We'll see what happens. I only got probably about 40 minutes to fish, but it get dark. So let's get it going. All right, so I'm gonna cast right out here and see what, see what, see if I can get anything right in this area here. Doing all right? Never caught anything here. Oh yeah, caught one right now. Oh, oh. Nah, that was probably the bass. Yeah. Yeah, I caught bass, crappies, catfish, everything out of here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, big one. If the wind is blowing from that way right here, uh -huh. it's blowing the bait fish right there. Mm hmm, yeah. I catch them in this drain hole right when it get dark. It's a little drain hole. Comes through here, go through the other side, the other pond. Oh, 
Oh, they'll hang in there. Oh, so this this actually connects in the drain. Yep, this drain hole comes through. It's a feeder. There you go. Oh, man. Yep. Yep, you gave me good luck. So they're sitting here waiting for that water to flow through. Yeah, they'll they'll get in there because that water get hot, you know, and they'll get in this they'll get in here where it's dark and, and that water cooler. And right when it get dark and they coming out to feed, you can come down here by 30 minutes. Right when it get dark, like right now, until it get dark. Once it's dark, they're kind of all out. They're scavenging uh shad and stuff. Yeah. But you can get a little run. And um now do you, do you do the same thing on the other side? Uh-huh, yeah. Now I haven't fished the other side because that big um that big um floating device thing on here if you go over there and look it's a barge it's like a floating barge uh i think i thought it was just i don't know i've never seen it but they told me that belongs to the city and they use that when they need to come out and fix stuff out of here yeah so so uh yeah so um oh yeah yeah not yeah i don't yeah i don't i don't i don't i've been coming out here for 15 i don't make cops and everybody and they man have fun fishing is, is, a, is a sport you know just clean it up behind yourself i don't really never you know keep anything i just throw it back give me a video and yep and um uh -huh. okay really uh huh. You're gonna see. <laughs> I'm flying down to Baton Rouge next weekend. Okay. I'm What's your name? Orleans. Randall. Randall Ernest. Ernest. Yeah. So I'm flying down to Baton Rouge next weekend. My wife is from New Orleans. Oh, is she? Yeah. That's fishing Ooh. right on the coast. Oh yeah, I do some real fishing. That's redfish. Yeah. Um, I haven't got to that. Another redfish. Another redfish. Look at look at the size. Man, man. I'm catching those trophy redfish. We're, we're fishing in a, what a bato. It's a 14 foot. John boat, we call it back really? uh -huh. in Louisiana. Yeah. And I'm telling you, we're fishing from here, maybe to the end of the weeds over there uh -huh. when the concrete starts again. Right. Offshore. Right. Slick night. Big major pass. Beach. And that pass makes a uh, a triangle reef out there. And that water goes off that reef. You see it all rippling up. Oh, okay. And all of a sudden the water gets smooth. And oh, that's ooh, where they be that's at. Where they drop off of us. Really? And that's where right there. <sighs> And we were just catching them yeah. one after another. After what was another. It, what, what bait? Yeah, what y'all using? Shrimp? Uh, this oh, that's is a nice bass. That's North Lake. That light. And that's what they do. They have a, big, they have a light on their head, and they. Line with that light. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's another one. Boy, look at him. He just shot off, did he? Look at him. I love when they just shoot off like that. Yeah. He, he took my uh, you son of a gun. You you took my 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 uh, plastic. Uh, you ever heard of a restaurant in, in Shreveport called Raffle Cacoos? Raffle cat cat. Raffle cacoos. Nah, uh, nah. Seafood restaurant. Okay. Just like the Papa Do's. Okay. Right. All right. So they had a really big one in Baton Rouge. They built beautiful facility right there on by the ten twelve split going into the uh -huh. afternoon. My son's about to take a nap and everything. He, I got a four year old. Uh huh. So I go out there and I'm I'm gonna go fishing. I'm okay. my pole and I'm out there fishing. Uh huh. And I hear Daddy, Daddy. He's come running down the hill. And he, he keeps grabbing my pole. So I uh -huh. throw the pole out. I went and got another pole. Uh -huh. Throw the pole out, and he was standing there reeling. What'd he get? He didn't oh, get you, oh, keep that, those, that's Man, keep those. Man. Oh, look, my look God. Look at that. That's what it's all about. That smile. That's what it's all 100%. about. That smile right there. I'll make a, 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 a. That's what it's all about. Now, how, how old are you? 61. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, though. <laughs> no, well, okay. from one wife and then uh -huh. my wife now. Uh huh. And look at her, look at her. We talk. Nice. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> one there. Keep talking, where's though. Your, where's your stringer at? Uh, oh, well, I ain't keeping that today. Oh, is that my pole? You yeah. Me? Uh, I, look, that been out here for a while, eh? <laughs> Got another one that eats that quick. Okay, hold on. Oh, let me put him back. Oh, boy. Come on, stop it now. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Oh, that was a nice one too. Two, yeah. two nice one. So, my my father lives in New Orleans. Uh huh. He's eighty four. Okay. And we're gonna go see him. I'm flying to New Orleans next Friday night. Okay. Go see, go see him, my other two brothers, and we bought a motorcycle. And he rode it for about three thousand miles. Got remarried, and he brought his new wife on the motorcycle. She got off. She said, "I'll never ride on that motorcycle again." 
So he had to get rid of it. He gave well, it no, he, he threw a tarp on it. Oh. That tarp sat for 30 years. Really? 30 years. He gave it to my brother. My brother used to work in a motorcycle shop. He uh -huh. doing motorcycles, all kinds of stuff. My brother redid it to 1983. That's a 1983. 40 years old. That, that's, a, that's a nice looking bike. He didn't yeah, do any, he, he didn't even no, like. He threw a tarp on it. Yeah, he just, he just parked it. Yeah, he threw a tarp on it. Look, look right here. What does that say? Where, where, oh yeah. 1983. 1983, wow. And it sounds good. I heard when you when you I was listening to it. It's 1983. Uh, so he drove it. Maybe he rode it maybe a couple of times and just said when he, she he said it. Rode it for 3,000 miles. Uh huh. So he took care oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then and when he, she he threw the tarp on it and it sat for 30 years. And it's look. So my my brother took and bought it bought a Chinese carburetor. Mm -hmm. That's the original seat. Yeah, it looks good. Not no cracks or nothing. New Orleans. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So it's a different heat thing. Oh, oh yeah. Heat right yeah. here would probably crack it. Yeah, the tour, yeah. Uh, he bought a Chinese carburetor for fifty bucks, put it on there and I So you two the earth, the uh big gulp, um earthworms work pretty good actually. I caught a few I caught I caught a, a lot of gills. And then the metal still working good, putting out bass, so I had a great day. Fish for a few hours after work. Ain't no storms yet, so everything went great. So you guys have a great one. Enjoy the night. Enjoy the video. Stay blessed. And we're gonna see you this weekend for some big, big fish or big crappies. Hopefully, hopefully. If not, we'll go for whatever, whatever bites. You guys have a great one. Peace.